everyone, we're going to be making dragonflies today, so make sure that you have all the supplies necessary. You're going to need a pipe cleaner, about 12 inches will do the trick, a piece of metal, a couple of feathers, a little gem, and a piece of string. It's optional, you don't need to have it, but it does make it look pretty cool. Alright, so let's get started. First, you're going to take your pipe cleaner, you'll bend it in half like this, then you're going to just twist it together. Now that you have the pipe cleaner twisted, if you have a piece of string, you're going to tie a knot up at the top, just like this. Then simply, you're going to wrap the string around the body of the dragonfly. Any kind of pattern you want to do. You can make a spiral, you can crisscross it, or you can color the entire thing with the string. I'm going to do a little crisscross kind of pattern today. The string that I like to use is called Kaleidoscope. It's by I Love This Yarn. It's a brand that you can find at Hobby Lobby and Michaels. Okay, and then once you get to a point where you like the way it looks, you're just going to tie a loop through the body, just like that. And then you'll do it one more time. Place your thumb here wrap the yarn around, and then you're going to pull it through. Okay? Alright. Now you're going to unravel the metal, just like this. And straighten it out. Alright, next. Since you have this little tiny bit of extra yarn here, you're going to wrap it around where you're going to place the wire. just like this. Then you'll place the wire on top of the dragonfly's body and wrap the small part around the body, just like this. Okay? Then you're going to pinch the wire here, pull it out, and create a loop. Pull this side over just halfway, and then pull right, create another loop like that. Pull it to the other side, and you'll repeat the process on the same side. And as you can see, I have a little bit extra metal left over. Totally fine. You can just bring this metal and weave it down the body of the dragonfly. And it also helps hold that string in place nice and tight. Okay. Now you have the dragonfly's body and its wings. Next you're going to take your feathers and your gem and you're going to glue them on wherever you like. I use tacky glue. You can also use hot glue. Hot glue makes it stay longer and it's a lot more durable, especially for little kids. So if you're doing this at home with your children, I would suggest using hot glue and you doing the glue. Otherwise, you can use tacky glue or regular Elmer's glue. We're just going to stick those feathers in like that. Now we're going to finish it off with the gem. Take your gem and place it right on top. And there you go. You have your dragonfly. The glue dries in 5 to 10 minutes and it'll dry clear. 